Hola! Hey, 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 hey! Mr. Warrell here at your service. How are you doing today? Yes! It's another math video. Ooh, the joy, the pleasure of working with numbers. I love it. Yes, and what do we have here today? We have, ooh, looks like, yeah, lesson 5.5, five. double five. Yeah, and our topic today is, whoa, decimal division. Woo, to the point. And our essential question, yeah, it looks like we are going to look at how can you use a model to divide by a decimal. And there's the little purple hands. This is a hands-on activity. So if you have decimal models, color and pencils, that would be really cool. Let's go ahead and take a look at investigate. Lisa is making reusable shopping bags. She has three and six tenths yards of fabric. She needs three tenths yard of fabric for each bag. How many shopping bags can she make from the three and six tenths yards of fabric? Okay, yes, and I we're going to do much like you see this girl in the picture. Let's take a look. Dun, dun, dun. Yes. So I'm going to actually get out base 10 blocks. Okay, I've showed my three and six tenths. I have my three holes and then my six tenths that are shaded because it says shade the decimal models to show three and six tenths. So let's look at what B says. Cut apart your model to show the tenths. Separate the tenths into as many groups of three tenths as you can. And I can't cut these apart here, but what I could do is start making a group of three tenths. So here's one. So here's three tenths in one group, and I'm trying to make as many groups as I can because the problem says she needs three tenths yard of fabric for each bag. So I know she can make at least one bag. Now I'm gonna make as many as I can. Well, here's one more group of three tenths. And I went ahead and I made my groups. I was able to make 12 groups of three tenths. Now it says use your model to complete the number sentence. So three and six tenths what we started with, we divided those into three tenths groups and we ended up with 12 groups. So she can make 12 shopping bags. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah! Now it says draw conclusions. Explain why you made each group equal to the divisor. Well, I did that because I needed to find the number of groups of three tenths in three and six tenths. Let me write that down. And now we have two mathematical practices here. We have mathematical practice two. Let's take a look at that. Okay, and we did look at this mathematical practice uh, in, a, in a prior video in this chapter, reason abstractly and quantitatively. Okay, this is about contextualizing and decontextualizing problems, meaning I could take a number sentence and make a problem based on that and then do the opposite. If I'm given a problem like we were given for the real world problem, then we're able to take that and write a number sentence. And our number sentence or multiplication equation stated that it was three and six tenths divided by three tenths was equal to 12. So we decontextualize and contextualize problems. Yes. So identify the problem you would be modeling if each strip in the model represents one. Oh, well, this is a perfect example of how we're going to decontextualize. So then that would be, I would be modeling the problem 36 divided by three equals 12. And this is if we're saying each strip was worth one whole, okay, a whole number. There weren't any decimals. So it's just going to be 36 divided by 3 equals 12. Okay, what's this? Remember, the divisor can tell the number of sized, same sized groups, or it can tell the number in each group, depending on how you communicate that. Mathematical practice five. We covered this in a previous video as well. It says that I can use appropriate tools strategically. Okay, I know when to use certain tools to help me explore and deepen my math understanding. In this case, we were using decimal models. I actually took my base 10 blocks and turned them kind of into decimal models, but that's basically what we were using. It lets me know how and when to use math tools. Very important that we're thinking about that as we do math. So communicate. It says Dennis has two and seven tenths yards of fabric to make bags that require nine tenth yard of fabric each. Describe a decimal model you can use to find how many bags he can make. Now this is just like our problem up above, except we just have some different numbers. But looking at that, see I could shade three uh, decimal models to show 27 tenths. You know, cut the tenths apart and put them into groups of nine tenths. Uh, three bags 
would be made for each group. I would be able to make three bags because I would have nine tenths in each group. So I can shade three decimal models uh, to show 27 tenths. Cut, cut the tenths apart and put them into groups of nine tenths. And of course, three bags can be made. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah! Now, time to move on to the next page. Page master! Poof! Yeah! Making some connections. Hands on. Here we have our decimal models again. You can also use, use a model to divide by hundreds. Ooh, not just the tens, but by hundreds. Materials, decimal models, coloring pencils. Let's get started. It says Julie has one and 75 cents in nickels. How many stacks of 25 cents can she make from one and 75 cents? It's a step one, shade decimal models to show one and 75 cents or 75 hundredths since it's no money sign. And it's showing us one hole and then here it looks like 75 hundredths. So there are one one and 75 hundredths because we have one full one, okay? And then we have 75 hundredths. Now it says cut apart your model to show groups of 25 hundredths, okay? So if we kept cutting those apart, into those 2500s you can see here we would end up having 25 and another 25 another 25 start to see the pattern here is we're cutting them apart kind of doing it the quick way here so i have 25 50 75 1 125 150 i need one more so there's going to be two four six seven groups of 2500s okay if you were to cut those 2500s each now it says use your model to complete the number sentence. So one and seventy five hundreds divided by twenty five hundreds is going to equal yeah seven. So Julie can make seven stacks of twenty five hundred of twenty five cents from the one dollar and seventy five cents. So that's all I did. Cut little twenty five hundreds apart. Given me, I just put twenty five. Mathematical practices. It says explain how to use decimal models to find three divided seventy five hundreds. Well, again, like this, we did the problem above, we could shade in three decimal models and then cut them apart to show groups of 75 hundredths. And there would be seven groups if you did that. Because 75, 75, 75, and 75. Because 75 and 75 is 150. And then if you double that, you get 300, which is like your three. All right. Now, share and show. Good opportunity for you guys to stop the video, go ahead and do this work, and then turn it back on and see how you did. Okay, so one and two tenths divided by three tenths. So it's modeling is showing us the one and two tenths, and we're making those groups, putting three tenths in each group, and as you see, we have four. Really easy. It's just saying use a model to complete the number sentence. That's all we're doing. Number two, we have the 45 hundredths. So there's nine hundreds in each one of those. It looks like 10, but it's nine. So then we end up with, yeah, five groups coming down to number three we have 96 hundredths i see that they're making again 24 hundredths because we're dividing by that divisor of 24 hundredths so we're putting 24 hundredths in each group and how many groups we were able to make that would be four which is 96 divided by 24 and then over here we have one hole and now we're going to put in five tenths in each group so a half and a half yeah, it's going to just be two. You're taking one hole and dividing it by 0.5, giving us two of those halves. Wow! Woohoo! Yeah, yeah! Oh my goodness, was that more fun than jumping in mud? That was more fun than going to the dentist to have a tooth removed. Ah, uh, har, 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 har. Very funny, Mr. War. Hey, my friends, I'm trying to add a little bit of excitement. You know what? We are at the end, my friends. Yes, it's another video. Here and gone. Bye-bye, and it's time to say, live long and prosper.